Some hoods require that the filter you use have a bottom hook along the bottom edge of the frame, which actually is necessary for the filter to stay in place. It actually hooks on the bottom of the hood itself. Now there are some filters on the market that already have that hook uh, fastened on to the filter. However, those are sometimes a little more expensive than others. For example, if you wanted to buy a filter that needed the hooks but wanted to save a little money, you get any flame guard riveted style filter. Now this is a stainless steel, which I highly recommend, but they do come in galvanized and aluminum. So as long as you're buying the flame guard riveted style filter, you can add these snap on hooks, which just snap right on the bottom frame. And once installed, we'll create, have that hook along the bottom of the frame, which will allow you to use it in a captive air uh, hood. Now these are just a few extra dollars. You can just check a box right on the website when ordering these that you'd like these included uh, or you can buy them separately after the fact. Uh, some hood cleaners or professionals will actually just carry these in their truck just to have on hand in case they need them. How these work is they just literally snap on like the name implies. You just take the front hook wanting that facing forward. Now again, they're going to be on the bottom, but to install, you install it on the top like this and then just flip it over. So you want to make sure your handles are in front, your hook is in front. Now the first thing you're going to do is just straddle. you got these two tabs. You want to straddle the baffle, just like that. And then you're at this, you're at this angle. Now it doesn't seem like this is going to actually snap on. It doesn't seem like it's going to fit. But if you put enough force into it, they do snap into place. And as you can see, that is very tight. That's not loose at all. It's a very, very snug fit. And that's going to create your hook, which will go along the bottom. But again, just make sure your handles are forward. We'll do a second one. The handles are facing forward. Your hook is facing forward. You just straddle the baffle and then just push it on and snug it on the bottom side. Now, as you can see, you've got a hook on this side and a hook on this side. When you flip it over, there are your two hooks. This can now be used in a captive air hood.